Hi friends, and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials, where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. In this video, I'm going to explain Microsoft Dynamics 365 in a way you can actually understand. No words like operational excellence, empowerment, productive performance, or other marketing mumbo-jumbo. <clears throat> Let's get started. First thing to understand is that Dynamics 365 is a software targeted at businesses, small, medium, and large, though generally you'll find it in use more at medium and large businesses. And the idea is that using this software, you'll be able to manage everything the business needs, from selling widgets and providing customer service, to doing things like billing and even human resources functions. So let's walk through those using a fictitious company called TTT Manufacturing. TTT Manufacturing makes anesthesia machines. These are the machines that are used during surgery. The anesthesiologist hooks up the patient to a breathing machine, and then they monitor their heart rate and other vitals during the operation. Big, complicated, expensive machines. That's what they make. So let's see how the good folks at TTT Manufacturing would use Dynamics 365 to run their business. First, we have a salesperson who says, TTT has products to sell. My job is to sell them. I need a way to identify sales opportunities and track them through to closing. So she's going to go out to hospitals and surgery centers and try to gin up business. And then she needs a place to input contact information, the size of the deal, the important stakeholders, attach a sales proposal, and so on. Selling stuff. That's what the sales app is all about. And when I say sales app, here's what that looks like in the interface. It's a web-based software, mostly hosted in the cloud these days, though there's also a version you can run on-premises. Next up, working with the sales folks, TTT Manufacturing has a marketing department too. They find new leads and stay in contact with existing leads. There's a lot of ways they can do this, creating various campaigns through LinkedIn, email, phone, web, and events. And as you might have guessed, this app is cleverly called Marketing. And here's what it looks like. So at this point, you've got established customers and new ones on the way. Lots of anesthesia machines going out to customers, which is fantastic. Now you need to service those customers. There's two ways you might do this. You might have a customer service team, maybe sitting in a call center, for example, and they'll take calls related to the customer account, billing, sales, that kind of thing. But for a product like an anesthesia machine, you can imagine that it periodically needs maintenance and even repairs that need to be performed on site. And that's what our friendly field service technician would do. Lumped into one category under service here, there's actually two different apps, one called customer service and one called field service. Again, the distinction being that field service really caters to those folks who are out in the field where they need to be scheduled and dispatched. They might need special equipment for a visit. They might need special skills and so on. Okay. So you've sold stuff, you've serviced stuff, and you've got happy customers. Now let's make sure things are good inside of TTT Manufacturing as well. And that's going to include things like money. So we need to collect money from the customers, we need to pay the company's bills. Here we have somebody in the finance department that handles that. Things like accounts payable, accounts receivable, budgeting, procurement, contracts, that sort of thing. And there's an app for that as well called Finance. Excellent. All right, next up we have our operations manager. She looks after the inventory, the manufacturing of the machines, logistics to make sure that we always have what our customers need, supply chain management effectively. And the app for that is Operations. You'll see the screenshot here. Moving on in our cast of characters, we have an e-commerce manager who says, our sales primarily happen through offline channels, but we're expanding to an online store for easier ordering of accessories and other small items. The Commerce app is used to manage the end-to-end -end retail experience, everything from merchandising, managing different sales channels, the mobile experience, and so on. And look, the company can even sell shirts to their anesthesiologists. Finally, we have our Human Resources Department. A representative here says, I work to keep TTT Manufacturing's employees happy. I handle things like benefits, compensation, recruiting, training, and employee development. Her app for that is called, wait for it, Human Resources. So there you go. Those are the main applications that make up Dynamics 365. You don't have to use all of them. Maybe you only need sales, for example, and nothing else. That's totally an option. But there's a full suite for those companies who need it. You might also hear things referred to as Customer Relationship Management, or CRM, more recently known as Customer Engagement. So the app's used to establish and build relationships with customers. Those are on the left there. If you want to learn how to create a trial of those apps, check out the video linked above. 
And then Enterprise Resource Planning, or ERP, over on the right, those are the apps for finance operations, commerce, and human resources. They're all about tracking your resources. And there you have it. That's Dynamics 365 explained in a way that's hopefully easy to follow. If you found the content valuable, we always appreciate likes, subscribes, and shares.